Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Thank God I threw away that furnace and got myself a microwave. All right, I got a little raw beef left. Let's just toss it in here. Start. Awesome, there we go. And now it's time to eat. What is going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today we're checking out the update for Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod And guys, I'm pumped for this one. I love this mod so much. They just updated it and it's freaking amazing It's an update for the kitchen. So basically all brand new kitchen stuff your kitchen in Minecraft is gonna look epic It's gonna be so cool all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm excited about so in my inventory You might notice I've got drinks you can actually get these from a blender. It's awesome. So I'm going to drink these like throughout the review and show you like the hunger they give. There's even toast. You can make toast in Minecraft. It's perfect. So let's jump into this, guys. This is my kitchen. It's in the middle of the plains. I know it makes no sense, but it, it doesn't matter. Let's head in here. So this is my kitchen, guys. It looks pretty cool. I mean, all this stuff. I mean, the models are amazing. It really looks like a kitchen. So we do have a bunch of stools right here. You can dye these any color. You can sit on them if you right click. I'm eating toast right now. Having breakfast how sick is this that is awesome so to get off this guys shift like you normally would in minecraft and let's jump into some recipes here all right so first off a cabinet you need cabinets look at this guys what is a kitchen without cabinets what are you gonna put in a chest just doesn't look right so to make one of these it's gonna be a bunch of quartz any kind of quartz it doesn't matter we got some cyan stained clay and also a chest right there so as you can see, you get 15 slots. You can put anything in this. There's no like restriction. It doesn't have to be like a kitchen item or something like that. So very cool. I showed you guys the bar stool. To make this one, it's going to be wool. Just, you know, normal white wool. It's going to be cyan stained clay and also some quartz like that. And the cool thing is you can just take any kind of dye and dye it any way you want. So they start off white like this. If I right click it, I can change it to that color. So looks really good actually. So guys, we also have a cup. A cup you can put these down and of course they are for your drinks to make one it's like glass pretty simple in like a cup shape right there and also a plate you can put any food on a plate so right here guys we got a bunch of quartz in like a triangle sort of sort of a triangle it looks cool though so you can see i've got some plates right here all you have to do is just right click it with some kind of food and it puts it down and it really looks like food is sitting there so let's say we want to do this let's actually grab some food off this give me my steak back I'll put down a brand new plate on the floor, you know, for, for the animals of the house. You might want to do that. I don't know. Maybe you have a pet wolf. You want to put down some steak on a plate or something. You can do it if you want to. So over here, guys, we have something that doesn't really belong in the kitchen, but it came with the update and it sort of makes sense. I really don't know how many people have a washing machine in their kitchen, but if you want to, you totally could, guys. So to make this one, we are going to need a bunch of quartz, a furnace, and also a glass pane. So one other thing we want to make is some kind of like soap to actually like wash our armor because basically what it does is it repairs your armor which is really helpful actually. So you can make soapy water to make that it's going to be soap in a bucket of water to make soap it's going to be bone meal clay and light blue dye. So you can actually make a better one which is super soapy water. I like that. So this one guys you just surround it with gold ingots so gold is washing your clothes. Awesome. So I'm going to take this stuff. It's pretty damaged. All you have to do is just shove it in here. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one here. And then you take some of this. I should have grabbed it. I'm going to get the soapy water. This one is not quite as good. And you just put it right there, guys. You hit start. And it's going to clean it. So the durability is going to go back up. It takes a little time. Like if you look at this right here, it says 314.51. It's going down from 50. Once it hits zero, it's going to be fully repaired. But this is, it's going to take a while. It's a slow process. But as you can see, it's actually repairing the durability. So I would recommend getting like the super soapy one. It saves you a lot of time. It's a ton better. And really, what are you going to do with your gold, guys? I just noticed this, guys. You can actually see it washing in there. Look at that. I can actually see it. It's going around a circle. That is so sick. Um, so the next one, this is probably why they added both in the update. This one is the dishwasher. And instead of doing armor, what it does is like your tools and weapons. So it makes sense they would go together. So for this one, it is going to be quartz, iron bars, cyan stained clay, and a furnace once again. So I've got myself a shovel and I've got myself a stone sword here that are pretty damaged. I will shove them in. So I'm going to put this here. And this time, guys, super soapy water. I will put this in. We'll hit the start button. And it does exactly the same thing, but it's a lot quicker. Look at this. 221, 220, 219, 218. Really quick compared to this one if you check it out. It's like 20, 19... 
18. It takes forever, so I really recommend that one. But you could tell the durability went way up now. And both of these working really good. I had some patience for once in my life, and I waited for these to actually repair. So check this out, guys. The helmet completely done. This one, it's about to be done. So if your diamond gear is, like, really run down, toss it in the washing machine. Could be really helpful. It's really not that expensive either. So this right here, stone sword, brand new. Awesome. So, yeah, really helpful. That stuff is going to be amazing. So now my hunger is quite a bit down. Let's try the fruit crush. I'll show you how to make it after. So this one, we get two bars. I don't believe anything gives you a special potion effect. Let's go veggie juice. Go this one. Oh, that one was more. So the veggie juice is actually better. So keep that in mind when you're using it, guys. So here we've got a kitchen counter. To make it, it's going to be like a bunch of clay stained clay. Did I just say clay stained clay? It's going to be cyan stained clay. It's not clay stained clay. We have blocks of quartz, as you can see right there, and it makes this, so it looks nice. It doesn't do anything, but you can place stuff on it, like you can see right there. And also, guys, we need a kitchen sink. So to make this one, it is going to be cyan stained clay, not clay stained clay. Blocks of quartz and a basin, which I believe came in the bathroom update. So if you don't remember how to make that, guys, iron ingot, blocks of quartz, and two buttons. So the way this one works is actually pretty cool. If you right-click it, it's going to say you need a water source, but you can fill it with a bucket if you want to, but that's kind of boring. So, guys, to set this up, it's pretty simple. What I need to do is, like, get underneath it. So, I'm going to open up, like, a little area right here. Let's try to do this. So, what you need is, like, three by three directly under the block that is under the sink. So, you can see this block, this block, this block, this block, and all this right here. And this needs to get completely filled with water. So, once I fill it, I think that should be good. Need one more right there. And now, all I have to do is right-click it, and it works as a sink. And if you're too lazy to do that, get like a bucket and just fill it up if you want to. And now we're on to the really cool stuff, the food-related ones, because I'm kind of hungry, so I, I kind of want to do this. So in front of us, it might look like wood, and it is wood, but it is called a chopping board. So this is where you like cut up stuff. To make it, guys, it is going to be like wood all over the place and some oak wood slabs right there. So we also need to make a knife. To craft that, it's going to be an iron ingot and a stick. And the only thing you can do with this is cut up bread. So I'm going to put down, like, some bread. Look at it. You can put the bread there. Take the knife. Right click. And you get back six bread slices. Must be, like, a small loaf to only get six slices out of it. Just saying. Seems like a low amount. So I think we should actually head on to the toaster next. Because, you know, you can actually, like, toast it in there. So to make this one, guys, it is going to be quartz blocks. As you can see, three of those. A piston. A stone block. We got some black wool and some iron bars. So this is really simple. You just need like two pieces of bread. All you have to do is right click it. See, look at that. Look at that. It's in there right now. Put another one in. And then you hold down shift, right click. It puts it down. And then after like 30 seconds, you've got toast. All right, there we go, guys. Went right into my inventory. So I've got a bunch of toast, which is food we're going to test out in a little bit. So pretty cool. I like that. Like there's a lot of different stuff you could do in the kitchen now. Uh, so this right here, guys, cookie jar. How sick is that? So to make this one, it is going to be black wool and some glass like that, glass panes. So I'm going to get some cookies. Really, the only purpose of this, cookie storage. Look at that. So you can fit that many cookies in it. And if you want to take one out, you right click and a cookie just pops out. It's great for decoration, though. I mean, cookies normally, they really don't help your hunger that much. But I think it looks sick as an item. In front of us is probably the coolest item in this update. It's the blender. It literally blends the stuff. I'm serious. I'm not even joking. It literally blends them together. So there's a couple different things you can make here. So to make a blender, first off, it is going to be glass panes. It's going to be black wool and an iron ingot. So I showed you guys how to make the cup. So what you need, guys, is two apples and four melon slices. And you can make fruit crush. How sick is that? So you need this exact amount. And we're going to toss them in. So all I have to do is right-click. Right-click again. Hold down shift. Right-click. Look at this. It's blending. I'm making a drink. I love this so much. All right, it's almost done. And there we go. So all I have to do is right-click it with a cup. And look at this. I got fruit crush in my inventory. You can fill up, I think it's five cups of this. So it's pretty sick for like a special drink to have around the kitchen. There's actually a couple other things you can make here. So this one is veggie juice. You're going to have to combine four carrots, a potato, and two pumpkin pie, which sounds nasty. It's pie and it's carrots and potatoes. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want that one. But that makes veggie juice. Um, for cookies and cream milkshake, this sounds good. Just cookies and milk combined together. And here, guys, we got a really weird one. The energy drink is redstone. We need eight of those. A fire charge. This sounds awful. And 16 sugar. So this one sounds so weird. I feel like we kind of have no choice but to do it. So let's grab this stuff. Let's make an energy drink. 
So what I need is another blender. Let's get another one right here. Don't want to waste my juice. It looks cool just for decoration with like half the juice in there. So once again, right click. Let's do this. Weirdest energy drink ever. So it's blending. It's going to be a different color. Every single one is like that. And come on. Let me get a cup. All right, I'm ready. So right click. And once again, guys, I got a drink. I just love how it works. There's only one item left, guys, and that is the microwave. Probably one of the most important things in my kitchen in real life. So this, this is like a lifesaver right here. So you can't cook everything in it, but you can cook potatoes and you cook beef. I think really the main purpose of it is just for a little bit of fast cooking. Really, there actually is an oven in this mod already. I covered it in like a past update. So just keep that in mind, guys, before you like suggest oven should be added. So for this one, guys, to make it, it is going to be iron ingots. It's going to be blocks, of course, a button and some glass panes. So this works so simple. It's so easy. I feel like they should make it so you could cook a couple more things, though. At least, like, pork and fish, probably. So you right-click this, put a potato in, start. It's really fast. Look at the particle effects. And then it beeps. It's done. I got my baked potato. Let's put in my beef. All right, here we go. And once again, really quick cooking. So that can be super helpful. It doesn't cost you, like, coal or anything like that. You just put food in, and it's ready. So, guys, what I did is I gave myself a potion of hunger so we could actually test the rest of this out. So, right here, we got cookies and cream milkshake. Let's go for it. This one, about two bars. I'm still hungry. Energy drink. This one, it's going to give us four bars. That's really good, actually. And we also have toast here. So, this one, it's only going to be two bars for that. So, not too bad. But, yeah, guys, that is pretty much all there is to show with this update. Your kitchen in Minecraft is going to look amazing. It looks awesome. So much cool stuff you could do with it. All kinds of, like, decoration items as well. So, if you guys want to check this mod out, the download, as always, will be in the description. And if you guys enjoyed this review and the commentary, be sure to punch the like button in the face and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.